Well, good morning, everybody. And we'll start our act of collective worship, as we always do, with the words, peace be with you. Our value for this term is kindness, and kindness is something our world is desperate for. With growing fears and anxieties, we all need to feel the warmth of a kind word or a kind gesture. As Christians, God calls us to be the light in the world, to love and be kind to all, even our enemies. The Bible says, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Just imagine for a second a world filled with kindness, where every single person shows nothing but kindness and compassion to one another. However, showing others kindness can often be difficult. It might be because they're not in the right place to accept kindness, or maybe we ourselves don't quite know the right way to show them the kindness they need. Maybe sometimes we feel, it's only me, how can I make a difference? Today I'd like to read a story called Be Kind by Pat Miller. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her brand new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too, but mum always tells me to be kind, so I tried really hard. I don't think it worked though. I said, hey, um, purple is my favourite colour. I thought Tanisha would smile, but instead she ran away. When she came back, snack time was over and she'd put an apron over her dress and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favourite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Maybe spill juice on myself so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe kindness is just giving. Making cookies for your neighbour who lives alone. Or maybe letting someone with smaller feet have your too tight shoes. <laughs> he might win races in them. Maybe kindness is helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, or cleaning up after your pet. Maybe it's paying attention, telling your friends that you like their new shoes, or asking the new girl in school to be your partner. Maybe it's listening to your auntie's stories, even the ones you've heard over and over and over again already. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle, or saying thank you, or bless you. My mum says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names, like, um, hey Kayla, or what's new Omar? Being kind can be hard too even when you know what to do. For example, teaching someone something you're really good at can be quite tricky, even when you're trying to be really, really patient. And sometimes, sticking up for someone when other kids aren't being kind, that's really hard, and it can be really scary too. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things but but my small things might join other small things that other people do and together all those small things, all those small acts of kindness could grow into something really big. Something really, really big so big that all our kindness spill out of our school and spread throughout our town. They travel across the country and go all the way around the world. And then eventually, right back to Tanisha and me.
so we can be kind. Again, and again, and again. And again. Take some time to think about this story. What would you have done if Tanisha was your friend? Maybe you found yourself in a similar situation when you've wanted to help out but not quite known how to. In what ways can you show kindness to those around you? What small acts of kindness can you do that could mix with other people's acts of kindness and make a really big difference. Close your eyes and put your hands together and we will pray. Dear God, if I cannot be brilliant, let me be kind. If I cannot change the world, let me inspire just one other to do so. If I cannot give away riches, let me be loving. Let me be known for kindness, for it is the greatest glory. Amen.